we got this post courtesy of stay grounded which i thought was really on point and i want to basically piggyback off the back of this regarding stay grounded it says um danny brown says fit check trend sucks and is bad for kids i definitely definitely agree with him on this one feel about the uh the asking rappers how much their clothes cost industrial complex I think it's it really sucks. Can't really say anything sucks because it, it really messes up with the kids, you know? There's nothing like having my little cousin like asking me for like Balenciagas and stuff. And it's like, come on, man, what is going on right now? Like, you don't have a job? I was happy to get a pair of Reebok pumps for $100. I thought that was baller, you know? Yeah, now these kids want $1,000 shoes and that's like, man, that's like months of rent. There's somebody out there that can go to Burlington Coat Factory and get fresher than somebody that's just wearing all designer, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's all about your style. It's all about you. It ain't about how much money you really spend on clothes, you know? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You can go thrift. It costs $200. Yeah. Total. I got this from a thrift store, you know? And I think he's 100% right. I've never been the biggest fan of those channels. I think one of the main ones I always hated was the guy that does his channel called um, Icy Cough, the How Much Is Your Outfit? I always thought that stuff was redundant because if anything, it just encourages people to buy really expensive or rare items and wear them all at once and think that's style when it isn't. That's obviously, in my opinion, the opposite of style. When you just wear really expensive, loud things, very rare things, and you walk around thinking you're doing something because you've got the rarest, most expensive, most bright, most loudest thing ever. And if anything, it also encourages hyper consumerism. It kind of makes you want to always go out there and buy crazy expensive things just for the sake of it. And really, you can get off some really crazy fits by just going out to the thrift store. One of the things I used to always love to do, which I don't do too often anymore, was I used to go on Vogue.com or something and pick a brand that I like. Let's say it's Rick Owens. And I would just see the silhouette of what the looks were on the runway. And I'd try and find the same things on the high street or through a thrift store. And then I maybe have a couple of designer things to kind of fill it in. But the main, the main silhouette, the main shape, the main maybe color palette of the outfit I would find on the runway. And I'll try and replicate it. I used to do that a lot, especially during the Hedy Slimane era of Saint Laurent. When Hedy, when Hedy Slimane was at Saint Laurent and everything was like skinny jeans and cowboy boots and leather jackets, you could always find those looks easily at a Goodwill store, at a charity shop. You could find a nice leather jacket uh, for cheap. You could find some nice, you could find maybe a nice button up shirt somewhere in a fitness shop for cheap as well to wear. And you could easily put together a very similar Saint Laurent look with maybe the real Saint Laurent boots, right? You could maybe purchase them for, for, for the actual price and then fill it up with all vintage pieces and you wouldn't need to spend the whole entire money getting the whole outfit done but you could kind of look quite stylish by copying the sort of styling of the flipping runway looks that's what i really used to love and i think this whole like how much is your outfit thing it kind of encouraged a lot of people to just go the opposite way and just buy expensive things and the weird thing is most likely if you've seen a lot of those what's your outfit look like pages especially when they're interviewing like random people on the street and not just celebrities you see a lot of the same things you see a lot of the same silhouettes you see a lot of the same shapes especially when they do them in new york you see the guys that all wear those big jeans with all the crazy embroideries on them and shit you'll see people wearing really loud knit jackets and stuff and leather jackets and whatnot it's all the same thing so this whole like how much is your jacket thing how much is your outfit thing has really encouraged people to dress the same and buy the same things and have the same taste like everybody on those pages seems to always be obsessed with chrome hearts or you know maybe wearing a particular bottega veneta shirt or Balenciaga jump prints. I saw the same thing again and again and again. So if anything, people are pretending that they're individuals because they're buying all these incredible, rare, expensive things, but they're actually looking very similar because they're all kind of getting the same inspirations. They're looking at the same discovery pages. They're following the same page. They're following the same profiles and pages and they're getting the same levels of inspiration coming at them which is obviously making them all have a weird collective taste that they just all kind of like you know copy and pasting on different sort of bodies from all around the world and i really 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 do detest it personally and it's unfortunate too because the other side of it is these people online who post their outfit pictures but they refuse to give you any details they kind of gatekeep stuff so you'll see people in the comments say oh where's the jacket from where's the jeans what's the name on the brand of the shoes and they always ignore them they don't reply they don't like they don't do anything it's just always kind of gatekeep so the complete opposite of it is people who go out their way to post pictures they want you to like their pictures but if you ask them any questions about where they got their items they don't want to answer they don't want to give you any details and stuff which is really pathetic as well because most of the time 
if you're smart like me all you do is just take a screen grab of their outfit you crop whatever thing that you want to find out and you just put it into a reverse image search on your google um, you know on google search or especially on your phone you can get the google app and usually you can find the item that way really really easily unless it's obviously something archived that hasn't really, really been you know shared online you can usually find most of the stuff online so it's not really even bothersome it's not really even useful to do all that whole gatekeeping thing because most people with the smartphones can find out what you're wearing even if you want to keep it yourself so i find all that kind of you know how much your outfit things to be incredibly lame so i'm glad i'm really glad that flipping danny brown said what he said because it really is lame and it doesn't really uh, breed good style and if anything it just makes people be hyper consumers and not really want to have any identity when it comes to the things that they wear so i'm glad that he said that i really am glad that he said that